Hi all, welcome back to the channel and our paddling adventures. In this video, we revisit Peanut Island, which is at the mouth of Lake Worth Inlet in Palm Beach County, Florida. We do a little snorkeling and check out various marine life. So come join us on this adventure as we paddle with special guest, Captain Rory and his first mate, Sherman. We arrived at the Phil Foster Park boat ramp just before 8 a.m. We had planned to meet Rory, a local and a subscriber there, for some kayaking fun. All right. What are you doing here? Out to the left, there's a little sandy area. This was the first time our daughter had been with us to this area, and we were eager to show her the many fish that you see while snorkeling around Peanut Island. It is nice weather. All right, we paid our $10 parking fee. Um, it's free if you've got a vehicle without a trailer, but if you've got a trailer, it's $10. They've got a designated parking area for vehicles with trailers. Um, and if, if you've actually, if you've got a single car, You've got to park a little bit further back, so so be aware of that when you come over here because they, I guess they will find you if you park a single vehicle in a trailer spot. Whoop. <laughs> I was getting ready to push you off and you got too far and I had to stop. Oh, you need a seat cushion? This time we're going to go under the causeway, I guess. It's low tide, so there's a lot of shallow areas. We're having to take the long way around, just right on the boating channel, just kind of, just to the right of it, just so that way we're out of the way of the boats as they're coming by. But we're in deep enough water where we can paddle. This kayak seven seas and heck of a pony are way, way, way over there. They found something on the way. They don't know how to get here, and it's shallow enough uh, they can make it. They're both experienced paddlers. And Miss Kayak Simmons has been here before, so she knows where we're going. I'll still keep an eye on him here in the distance. The good thing is it's shallow enough, I can run to him if I need to. <laughs> well, let's keep going. We're going on our way to Peanut Island, looking at some of these fine boats that are way beyond my budget. Right, look at that one right there. The Yachting Seven Seas. Maybe that should be my new channel. <laughs> Need a little bit more money first though. That's Rory in front of us. We coordinated, he found out we were going to be over this area. You've probably seen him comment in some of my videos or during the premieres in the chat. And, uh, we coordinated and were able to meet up. For those of you who I've tried to coordinate with while we're down here, I'm sorry we couldn't make it work, but we will be here this spring. So I'm hoping maybe I can make a good list of who all wants to meet up let me know in the comments so that way I can start compiling that list and we'll see if we can't make it happen. Starfish! Starfish! Here! Orange! Did you think 
Police have got their lights on going out. Yeah, I'm gonna. You guys gonna snorkel? Show me where you're gonna snorkel. Uh, just over by these uh, little rocks. Alright, I'm gonna go over there and then I'm gonna head out. Out to the. Yeah. Out the inlet? It's awesome out here, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and beach our kayaks. It's already 66 degrees, so the water's gonna be nice and cool and we should dry off pretty good. We're gonna do some more kayaking at four o'clock, but we've, well, we've also got to kayak back. Anyway, let's do a little snorkeling. So these rocks here build an artificial reef for the fish to live. Rory has decided to paddle out uh, the inlet and check out the Atlantic Ocean. I'm trying to get these two set up, maybe do some snorkeling myself, or I might just try to join him if I can find him out there. But let's let's check out some of the fish that we can find by these reefs. I cannot see it. You didn't bring that fog stuff, did you? Why I have to bring it? <laughs> it's in the car. <laughs> Why everything I see? Because you're Miss Kayak Seven Seas. <laughs> well, we started to get acclimated, then it got shallow again. I still haven't gotten fully immersed in the water because it feels a little cold. I got sand in my flippers, so I'm trying to walk. But we're out to the, the furthest rocks, so we're going to be getting in the water here in a second and seeing what fish we can see today. In case you're wondering, the water is just about waist high, so you could probably just walk around with your face in the water. You really don't need your flippers, but I mean, it's good practice for snorkeling, so that way, if you want to get in deeper water later on, this is a great place to practice. Plus, you do get to see some fish. We saw some fish in the water, and we're just going to goof around a little bit more, see what other fish we can find. What do you think? Yeah, he likes it. She says we need to come back. We did. I found it right here. Somewhere where it was. Oh, he's burying himself. Okay. Ready? Cool. Ready? Uh huh. <laughs> what well, was your dog's name again? Sherman. 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 I keep getting stuck on my phone. Yeah, I mean, basically, they're mammals. They're just smartest dogs. Right. Yeah, I've had a couple of them almost hit me a few times. Cause really? In the Mercury water um, up north in the coast where you don't really? really see them. God, that's the only time I've ever seen them. Yeah. All right, Rory, we'll see you here shortly. Hi, Arthur. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Nice meeting you, too. Don't sink. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Wow. Huh? So, well, she goes in that way. See this iguana on the rocks? There's another one on the bridge. You can just see its shadow. So on these rocks and on the bridge, there are iguanas. Let me see if I can't get closer and get the other camera so we can see them. So hopefully you can see it now. I doubt it with the other camera. Let's zoom in with this one. Yeah. So there's a big old iguana up there. We have more iguanas right here. Oh, that one's crawling. There's a number of iguanas out today. This is our lucky day for iguanas. Look at that one's tail. So sorry for the shaky footage action, but I am on a kayak that is floating, plus I am zoomed in about three and a half percent or so. Well, there's two times right there. Maybe that'll be a little bit steadier. You can see the iguana right in front of me. And you see that big orange one right up there too. And there should be one right by that rock further back. But look at that. That is simply amazing. It's moving, it's moving. It's moving. Right, you, you oh, oh, Miss Kayak 7Cs did not see that manatee coming up beside her. Looked round and prickly, whatever it was. See, it could have been a sea urchin. We're going to the lower bridge. Yeah. There you go. I'm, I'm out of my kayak now. Uh, I just thought I lost it. I lost it. I saw a starfish, a giant starfish in the water. They have a technical term. This guy X7C saw one earlier. Now, I think I'm gonna hop back in, get a bird's eye view. Oh, no, I see it right there. Starfish. Across this channel. 
go, go. Wait, wait, go. On that side. Yeah, go. Watch for fishing line. Thank you for watching our latest adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, let us know by clicking that like button, leave a comment, and if you really like this type of content, click on that subscribe button. This all helps so that YouTube will hopefully put our videos out to a larger audience. If you have a suggested area in Florida that we should check out, let me know. And the next time we're in Florida, maybe we will. Until the next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.